From Hollywood, it's time now for... Johnny Dollar. Good. I was hoping you'd be there at Jake Kessler's office. This is Buster Favor at Lake Mojave Resort. Oh, hi. Find out anything? Yeah. Hard luck, Dennis. Our one real key to this $3 million case has just been murdered. Oh. You know who did it? I have an idea. Well, I found something here that might help you. Oh? Tire tracks at the old miner's shack where hard luck was shot. And more of the same tire tracks here at the resort. Buster, I'm on my way. Tonight, and every weekday night, Bob Bailey in the transcribed adventures of the man with the action-packed expense account, America's fabulous freelance insurance investigator... Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Expense account submitted by Special Investigator Johnny Dollar. Location, Lake Mojave Resort on the Colorado River in Arizona to the Greater Southwest Insurance and Liability Company. Following is an accounting of expenditures during my investigation of the Midas Touch matter. Item 9, 6.30, a stop at the sign of the Flying Red Horse for gas for my rented car to get me from Kingman, Arizona to Lake Mojave Resort. About a mile short of the lake on the winding road that led in from the main highway, I found Buster waiting at a spot where an old wagon trail cut off to the right. Right over here, Johnny. Clear as crystal. Hiya, Buster. You see him here? These tire tracks in the sand? Huh? Well, uh... Oh, yeah, sure. You see? Three of the tires. Look here, where the car turned to get around this rock. Yeah, yeah. Three of the tires were pretty good. Had those big knobby treads. But this one, right front's almost worn smooth. Or is it the left rear? Oh, it's right front, Johnny. Car was going north, out into the desert. Huh? Tell by the little skid on this turn. <laughs> Plus, do you read tire tracks like some people can read footprints? Oh, it's just practice. Anyway, these are the same tracks that I found by the old shack where you met hard luck and he got shot at. Then let's get into my car and follow these up. Oh, whoa, Johnny. Nothing but a jeep could get over this trail. Well, where does this trail pick up a highway again? It doesn't. Winds around for eight or ten miles and ends up in the lake over by the southwest corner of the fence line on the Two Lazy Two Ranch. Then our best bet is to drive over to the Two Lazy Two. Except for one thing. The jeep we're looking for is somewhere up that trail, so we'll go by outboard. Oh, what? This old trail worms around all right, but always close along the edge of Lake Mojave all the way. And the end of it's eight miles to one, and there's only about one mile by water from our dock at the resort. Uh Uh-huh, then we ought to be able to intercept whoever's in that jeep. That's right. Then let's go. Lake Mojave was clear and calm and beautiful, perfect for fishing. But we had other things on our minds as the 30-horse outboard pushed our 14-foot aluminum boat along at better than 25 miles an hour. We stayed fairly close to the Arizona side. Look, Johnny, see that streak of dust along the shore? Yeah, somebody's been driving along there, all right. Still is. Won't be able to see who, though, until he comes out from behind that ridge of hills over there. Hey, that streak of dust hasn't grown any longer. Looks like he stopped. Could be. I'll head his in towards shore. No, I still don't understand why he'd be driving out on that dead-end trail, though, unless he wants to dump a body or something in the lake. Now, that's a morbid thought. All right, but if it is a killer you're looking for... You said that trail ends at a corner of the... Hey, wait a minute, Buster. Yeah? If it's who I think it is, he overheard me tell Jake Kessler I plan to go fishing out here today. So? What was that? The motor giving you trouble? What was what? There. Hear it? Yeah, I heard it, but it wasn't the motor. Hey. That's funny. Buster, look, we're taking in water, those holes in the bottom. Here, you take this can and start bailing. Right. I would drill a lot of holes. No, wait a minute. Look at them close. They're bullet holes. Holy smoke, you're right. Hey, that was a shot. Came from over on shore. I saw the puff of smoke over in that patch of sagebrush. Come on, let's get out of here. Swerve us around, Buster. We've been a pair of sitting ducks. Man, you are right. Keep on bailing and keep your head down. Swing us around that little point there and we'll be out of range. Wow, you see that spread of water beside us? That guy can shoot. You aren't kidding. Okay, Buster, you can ease her up now. We're out of his line. Yeah. Well, I guess we pulled a boner, Johnny. Why not having somebody posted on that road while we came out here? Uh-huh. Now he can climb back in his jeep and... 
There, there, you see? Trail of dust again. Going back toward the highway. I see it. If we hadn't taken on so much water, we might be able to get back and intercept them on the highway, but it's too late now. Well, at least we know what to look for. What? The jeep that made those tracks. Well, isn't that kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack out in this country? Buster, I think I know exactly where to look. I believe I must have bailed a good five gallons of water out of that boat by the time we reached the dock. Then Buster insisted on going along as I headed back up the highway toward Kingman. We stopped where the old trail cut in only long enough to see if the jeep tracks had come back on the highway. They had. Well, now that we're on the way, Johnny, where are we going? Any of these ranches out here use jeeps, Buster? Most all the big ones, but... Including the Too Lazy Two? Yeah, that's right. Now, wait a minute. I didn't ask you who you thought was shooting at us out there on the lake. Who you thought overheard you talking about going fishing. I figured if you wanted to tell me, you would. Oh, the trouble is I still can't prove anything. All right. Now, let me tell you who can shoot like that and with that kind of a gun. It was a 30 yard 6 You could tell by the sound? 30 yard 6 with a long barrel. That could mean it had a scope sight. Almost have to for that kind of shooting. Alex Bundy, foreman at the Too Lazy 2. That's who hard luck Dennis said shot at him. And it ties up, Johnny. Does it? You got a few too many under his belt one night at a dance party in Kingman. Yeah? Started yapping his head off about how a lot of soft living millionaires from back east could come out here and own the place while he had to do all the work. It wasn't fair. Worm had turned sometime, even if he had to help it turn. And he'd be the one who counted the money. That's about the time he, everybody started talking about him and Dora. Dora? Wife of one of the Haskell brothers that was killed on the mine. Oh. Kevin Haskell. Go on, Buster. Seems Alex and Doro were seeing a lot of each other on the sly. Everybody kind of stood around waiting to see if Alex was trying to get some control of the ranch that way. Uh, that's Union Pass right ahead. Mm -hmm. Just over the tops of the road to the left, shortcut to the Too Lazy Two. Oh. That's where you want to go, isn't it? Yeah, Buster, that's where I want to go. It was only a couple of miles into the ranch's fence line, but a good three miles further to the main house and its cluster of outbuildings. Buster's sharp eyes first noticed the jeep parked by the side of what looked like a big tool shed, and I drove slowly past it. Slowly enough so that he could study its tires and the tracks on the dusty ground. Uh-huh. Well? That's the one, all right. Then keep an eye out for Alex and that gun of his. Yeah, and be ready to duck. Try the main house. Okay. You know... I got a kind of funny feeling now that we're here, we should have brought a posse along. Afraid it's too late for that now. That is a gun bulging under your jacket, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But I'm wondering what chance a little 38 lemon squeezer has against a high-powered rifle. Oh, come on. Now keep your eyes peeled. Johnny, I'm beginning to feel like I'm right in the middle of an old-time Western movie. Maybe you are, Buster. Maybe you are. Why, Buster? Oh, uh, how are you, Dora? Well, don't just stand there. Yes, ma'am. The woman standing on the porch of the old house looked strangely out of place on this big western desert ranch. Perhaps it was because of her clothes, two-toned sports shoes, and a crisp, well-tailored white linen dress that served to accent the lines of a trim athletic figure and go perfectly with her short, boyish cut hair. Uh, Ms. Haskell, this is Mr. Dollar. Johnny Dollar. Hello, Mr. Dollar. Jake Kessler told me you were here. Come in, please. Okay, thank you. I suppose he told you why I'm here. No, leave the door open for the breeze. Oh. He said to investigate the death of my husband, Kevin, and his brothers in that mine accident. Sit down, won't you? Thank you. Do you think it was an accident? According to Mr. Kessler, you don't. Why? Because it means his company would have to pay only a million and a half to me instead of three million? Somebody found pretty concrete evidence there in the mine that one of the rock pillars supporting the roof had been deliberately pulled down. Hard luck, Dennis. If what you say is true, he must have done it. It was hard luck who told me about it, who showed me the winch that was used to do it. And that winch, Mrs. Haskell, could have come from only one place around here. This ranch. Oh, no. You mean, no, you can't mean that somebody here at the ranch did it. Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? But who... That's what I hoped you might be able to tell me. Who beside you could profit by the death of your husband and his brothers? Who here at the ranch? Alex Bundy, perhaps? Alex, how? By marrying into the family. 
What are you talking about? That is, of course, if one of the Haskell brothers were to die. Kevin, perhaps. That's absurd. Oh? I had a notion that you and Alex were somewhat interested in each other. Well, you're wrong. He may have been interested in me. He was, as a matter of fact. He made it very difficult for me. How do you mean that? He kept trying to force his attentions on me. And you didn't reciprocate? Of course not, because... Well, go on. Because... I knew what his real motives were. All right, go on. This ranch. This ranch is what he wanted. He knew that Kevin wasn't well. That's why Kevin had come out here with his brothers in the first place. I did hear that he was having a little trouble with his lungs, Johnny. He didn't have long to live. Not many years, that is. Even in this hot, dry air. So Alex did it. It sure looks that way, doesn't it, Johnny? What, What led you to look for him here? It was Alex Bundy who shot up hard luck Dennis. Then somebody overheard me say I was going fishing down at the lake. That's where I was shot at, by somebody who was not only a crack shot, but more important, was driving the jeep that's parked outside. The jeep was gone from here this afternoon. Do you know where Alex Bundy is now? He must be somewhere around the ranch. And you must get him, Mr. Dollar. I'll help you. I'll help you find him. But don't go unarmed. Here, I'll give you one of my rifles. Hey. That collection of high-powered rifles is yours? Yes, at a national rifle team in college here. I'll give you ammunition. And Buster, you take one. This 30-30. Now, I, I don't know, Mrs. Take Best- it. What Mr. Dollar says about him is true. Alex may try to shoot before you... Mr. Dollar. Laura! Mr. Dollar, be ready when he comes in. Laura, why don't you tell me you were through with the Jeep? You know I wanted to use it this afternoon. Dora. Well, well. Don't move, Mr. Dollar. Your gun isn't loaded. Now, here's our star to tell you about the final intriguing episode of this week's story. Tomorrow, well, sometimes justice is done by strange and devious means. Join us, won't you? Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar, starring Bob Bailey, is transcribed in Hollywood. It is produced and directed by Jack Johnstone, who also wrote this week's story. Be sure to join us tomorrow night, same time and station, for the next exciting episode of Yours Truly, Johnny Dollar, Roy Rowan speaking.